statement. While the lifting of the state of emergency is a positive step, the violence against peaceful protesters continues. Since the coup, there has been increased violence against women protesters, including arrests, fabricated charges, use of direct lethal weapons to quell protests, and sexual violence. Over the past three months, dozens of women were detained. Two lost their eyes during protests and dozens injured. 101 protesters have been killed since the coup, three of whom were women, two were girls under 15 years old, and 15 have been raped or sexually assaulted. 30 women have been killed in militia attacks in Darfur, and over 30 women in conflict areas were raped or sexually assaulted. 18 million people, 57% of whom are women, are in need of humanitarian help. Civic space in Sudan is shrinking. Human rights groups and women defenders are not able to work freely and safely. There is increased surveillance on the internet, communications, movement, and offices of many civil groups, forcing them to work underground. We call on the Council to ensure continued attention to Sudan and to prioritize independent investigations by international and regional human rights mechanisms into atrocities committed against protesters, especially women and girls, from 13 December 2018 to date. Access to justice for women must be ensured, and accelerating reform of military and security forces to eliminate growing risks of state militarization and to grant women defenders access to fully participate in these processes. Thank you.